Rockstar Games is taking a groundbreaking step towards making GTA 6 no an way. immersive experience for players. They have Nah, bruh. If they, if they nerfed the Lucia Bruna, it won't be immersive. Patented a new locomotion system aimed at delivering highly dynamic and realistic animations. Now, nah, this is according bruh. to a Reddit user, Tabalobin30, who did some digging. <laughs> so a huge shout out to him. Wow! He's in Urdu, I would like to say, yeah, this is Rockstar Games. Can I quote this school? Me, bharti karo. Abhi ke abhi, yeah, a trailer ni pain chhod dal sakte. Like the video if we deserve to get the GTA 6 trailer immediately. Said, I was recently studying the leaks and found something interesting about the animation system in GTA 6. Okay. I came across a name mentioned in the leaks, Tobias oh, Clownhouse. Tobias. Intrigued, Tobias Clownhouse. Wait, what? I conducted a search for this name, <laughs> leading me to discover his LinkedIn page. There, I came across a patent he had shared related to the locomotion techniques implemented for games at Rockstar Games. Based yeah. on this patent, man, Rockstar Games got no games. Yo, where are the games? Okay, Rockstar, tell me now immediately, bro. As a brand Brown man, I demand the games. Rockstar Games should seriously consider removing games after Rockstar, okay? Like the video if you agree. There's it seems no like they're using a clever system. They've built a library of small building blocks for character movements. These blocks can be combined in various ways to create a wide range of animations. For instance, uh -huh. think about a character in the game walking in the rain, feeling tired, or getting injured. Instead of designing separate animations for each of these situations... Dog, the, moder the, mods, the mods would be like, okay, hold my beer, because the mods for GTA 5, right? Yeah, let's be real. They can bring the entire Pacific Ocean on them streets. Look at this street, brother. Look at this street. <laughs> there is so much water. How much more water do you need? Why? We need the trailer. We need the trailer. And the game out immediately, man. We don't care about water. No water. I mean, technically we do, and we know that the game is going to be good, but, but I mean, come on, Rockstar. Bruh. They use these building blocks to put together the character's movements naturally. This means GTA 6 can have more diverse and lifelike animations so when you play let the game come out first bro. play gta 6 you'll see characters moving in ways that match the weather their Damn. energy level and their injuries this makes the game feel more immersive it's like having characters that can adapt to different situations making the game world feel more real and thrilling in the leaks we can see this system in action this is found in the clip of jason crouching with his gun covering his head <laughs> in the snippet you can see the building blocks used Yo. combat crouch left wide long gun under fire move this All indicates right. how the character should move when under fire and crouching Dang. holding an assault rifle Yo, honestly though i do believe that this uh, jokes aside right jokes aside seriously we all joke around it's like you know it's light-hearted jokes i like to joke around this and that but 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 at the end of the day i truly do believe that this is gonna be the game there's gonna be no in between either this is gonna be the most hyped game ever it's gonna be a banger or it's gonna be a snoozer there's gonna be no in between with this one like the video if you agree because guys let's be real 13 years 13 years by the time it comes out it's definitely gonna be 12 at least 12 or 13 years right like circus i've been saying that this game is coming out in the fiscal year 2025 and when they, when i say circus i mean to say rockstar and take two they have officially said that during their investor call but but we do not know we do not know if they're gonna delay it or not and quite frankly if we do not get the trailer this year i think the dream is joe over for us to get the game next year because at that point i think these twats are gonna be releasing it in 2025 i just hope that it's not late 2025 i guess early to mid that uh, that uh, that we can do but but like damn bro like uh, we always we all always dream that one day it's ever since 2018, so I guess I've been saying it's coming next year, it's coming next year, it's coming next year, next year, nay, nay, nay. and we are almost, almost 2024, guys. 2018, we were like, it's gonna come out in 2019, 2020, right? And it's almost 2024, guys. No trouble. Moving with the left part of his body, looking forward in a wide manner. This will also affect NPCs. In the leaks, you can, no for way. example, see a police officer gradually change his cover and height based on the height of the wall slash fence in front of him. What? This will make NPCs seem smarter and make the game more challenging in a positive way. You can also see the police officers hide behind cars during the shootout. And that's that's impossible in video games, bruh. You need the PlayStation 20 for this, bruh. PCs will also probably move 
differently based on what their role is. For example, a police officer and a gang member could move and act differently. I am sure RDR2 might have used a similar system, but based on this patent and the clips I have seen from the leak, the animations in this game will be incredible. I'm interested in- Dog, if it was Activision, bro, they would have been like, yo, let's use the last 10 year old animation, bro. So I guess would still be buying it, so why not? I mean, this sounds very believable because I do remember back in the days, right? And when I say back in the days, guys, it's like around 2020, okay? Bruh. We had patents, I believe, like iGen covered the story where Rockstar patented and they were talking about how the, the, the world is gonna feel dynamic, realistic, how we're gonna have real NPCs, realistic NPCs, not real NPCs, how we're gonna have real life uh, physics for the cars and the, the driving is gonna be way better. I personally, quite frankly though, I love the driving in GTA 5. GTA 4 was kind of rigid though. I mean, I love all the GTA games, but GTA 5 driving was hell, hell amazing. I mean, GTA 5 is, you know, jokes aside, the, the, the GTA 5 re, 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 remaster, BS aside, GTA, other than that, GTA 5 is a very good game. Shark cards aside, it's a very good game though. But I guess we all sick and tired though. That's basically the main thing right now. And I truly hope that the NPCs feel real. I, I believe that. This one, I do believe it. In learning about the additional animation related information that people have gathered from the leaks and hearing their thoughts on this patent. It all sounds it. very exciting. It. Immersive yeah, yeah. can so exciting. often be an immersive, my bro. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I'm shaking! I'm shaking. Empty marketing buzzword thrown around ahead of game releases. But when it comes to this patent, I truly believe Rockstar is pushing the boundaries of animations in their next GTA production. In the 3D era of GTA, I, I hope they push the boundaries and release the GTA 6 trailer first too, Kaji. A games. So in GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, animations <laughs> were comparatively basic. This was a time. <laughs> Dog, okay, bro. <laughs> bro, like, this makes me wanna just. Bro, bro. What the actual app, bro? Bro, in Urdu, I would like to say, bro, in pants. Oh, yar, kutte de bacho. A trailer dalna, yar. Kuch pyar ma badnal fans ke liye trailer dal do, yar. Kuch to shalam kar lo. Ladies and gentlemen, in English, I would like to say, bro, like GK3, Y City, San Andreas, bro. These game came out so together, so like it feels like I know they were years apart, but it just felt like that they were coming out like tick, 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 tick. it felt like that you couldn't even breathe between these games because and it was bangers after bangers though. Make no mistake, when GTA 3 first came out, it was a banger though. When GTA Vice City came out, it was a banger. San Andreas topped it all. It topped it all, bruh. Like, Sigurds were playing it. I remember, like, buying the disc on PS2 so many times because I was using the cheat codes in the game. Not the ones that Sigurds use in multiplayer games nowadays. Guys, back in the days, we had, like, R1, R2, L1, you know, left, down, up, down, down, down. This one, we had the money glitches. We had the money cheat codes, deadass, provided by Rockstar, Rockstar Games. Bruh, and you know, there used to be a myth, I'm not sure if you guys remember this or not, but there used to be a myth where the more cheat codes you use, the more your disc will be scratched. Like the video if you know this, like the video if you actually at least heard of it, I'm not sure whether that was real or not, I think it was real because, you know, the disc would be like, ee, 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 you know, the lens underneath the disc, because it would be reading the disc, and if you activate the cheat code, it would just go crazy, it would go up and down on the disc, because it would, it would try to search for... 25 G's that you actually <laughs> tried to get in the game uh, via cheat code. So I think that was the real uh, logical explanation. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a too IQ logical explanation. I don't know. But bruh, I remember buying so many discs. And whenever they would scratch, bruh, whenever my games would buffer, whenever my San Andreas would buffer, I would suffer, my G. I would suffer. And when the back. technology and game engines were not as advanced as they are today, which reflected in the animation quality and the level of interaction characters had with the environment. Outside of the Rockstar games, bruh, I don't view any improvement in other games outside of the graphics, though. The gameplay shies of uh, microtransactions, unfinished, unpolished. They got NASA computers, bro. Environment. We had a limited set of movements, and the transitions between different animations were not smooth. The character movements were often kind of robotic, and the interaction yeah. with the environment was minimal. The running and walking anim- Man, this was so fun to play, bro. I didn't- I, I, I don't think anybody cared about the janky animations. Now looking at it, I still don't care, though. But yeah, if a game- let's be real, guys. Even I would- you would as a little as a real, right? If a game comes out this way, though, we- <laughs> 
<laughs> we would me we do that bro there is no denying but back in the days bro we didn't even give a damn though you feel what i'm saying and the games were actually good though they were woke free and they were content heavy though quality content i'm i'm talking about though animations were simple and there wasn't much variety in the way characters reacted to different situations san andreas was the best of these three because it let us now swim climb and engage in more complex combat showcasing a broader spectrum of animations compared to its predecessors now the primary factor that contributed to the basic animations was the hardware limitations of the time True. the gaming True. consoles and pcs back then had significantly lower pro bro san andreas had more blood than like 2023 games absolutely crazy i know crazy though processing power and memory compared to what we have today this meant that developers had to work within tight constraints which yeah. naturally affected the complexity and fluidity of animations the aim was to maintain a balance between graphical fidelity gameplay mechanics and performance which often meant sacrificing on the quality of animation to ensure the game ran smoothly on the available yeah. hardware during the 3d era rockstar utilized the there's no excuse this time guys there is literally zero excuse zero excuse they cannot mess gk6 up though they are not even gonna be releasing on ps4 which is good though i know some suckers say they yeah, 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 i want it on ps4 guys think about it this way though ps5 has been out by the time gk6 comes out it would easily be over four years uh maybe even five though Hopefully not 6, let's be real, but by the time PS this game comes out, PS5 would have been out. PS5 Pro were here and it's coming out next year. So there is absolutely no excuse for Rockstar to butcher this up. And if you're somebody that's stuck on the PS5 or PS4, I should say, and you're not able to get PS5, I totally understand. Though At the end of the day, they are the ones making decisions, though. If they want and, they, and if they're looking to this, they can certainly put it on last gen. But as a fan, and I'm just saying, though, like if you have been waiting for this game for a decade plus like me and like everybody else, I'm telling you, you, you probably want the game to be good. You want the game to be a banger, right? And if that's the case, though, I would recommend that dog. Hope that it is... I, I hope that you hope that it comes out only on the current gen console because one day eventually you will be able to get it and maybe you're gonna get PS5 a year after the game comes out. Likewise for Series X though, if you're an Xbox fan, you, you feel what I'm saying, right? And whenever you get the current gen console, uh, if you haven't, and when you get the chance to play GTA 6, and if it's good, you're gonna be really, really glad that it did not come out on last time. But boys, click on this video on the screen because we have the GTA 6 trailer leak. A leaker just came out, blew the lid off. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there.